If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'll be going over all the brand new legends coming to Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Kind of break down the legends promo on the way it's been working in years past as well as how many I kind of expect to get and what names I expect to see because there's more than just the two legends that were revealed that I will show you. Typically, they usually do like eight for the first week. So hopefully expect these two that were revealed, maybe another reveal tonight, as well as maybe, you know, they can either all be revealed beforehand or maybe two more revealed tonight. And then on actual Saturday, they just drop the other four. Maybe they only do four this year. Um, explain how boss legends kind of worked and how, how that all kind of worked from last year. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video. Comment down below Poodle Squad. And yeah, that's about it. So today's Poodle Squad shout out goes to Taken Army YT3. Thanks so much for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Appreciate each and every one of you that shows support. And if you guys do need coins for the Superstar MVPs tomorrow, for the Legends promo, if you need coins for anything, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. You're going to want to use code Poodle. 15% off your order. That's a pretty large stack of coins when that you'll, you'll save money on if you buy a decent amount. So take advantage. 15% goes a long way. I promise some other sponsors only do 5 or 3 or, you know, 10. Again, it's for price reasons. And price ranges depend on how expensive versus how cheap. But pretty decent one. But, yeah, let's get into this. So when Legends do drop... Again, just like I said in the last video, they will be over here. You will see it's Legends' own category. Each Legend typically has a set, and you're going to see all the sets of how you do them. It's going to be very self-explanatory. There's typically smaller Legend pieces that go into the big Legend set. It's going to be probably a bluish-esque aura. The card art this year looks super cool, so I'm definitely excited to check this all out. Now, in my personal opinion, Legends is one of the most fun, you know, good way to get some solid players all year long for an affordable price. Although, for some reason, the YouTube sentiment isn't always there for Legends, which I've never really understood. I think it's a really cool thing. Obviously, not every week's a banger, but most Legends are actually pretty good. They're typically better than modern-day players. It's, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people use Legends. Now, some people don't use them because they prefer modern-day players, but typically a team of Lawrence Taylor, Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, Sean Taylor, Charles Woodson will be better than any current players I could put in the field, ultimate team-wise, right? So it's kind of weird that people always like uh, stray away from legends or at least you know in terms of caring about it which i don't understand i guess because it's weekly you know it's coming i don't really know but it's gonna be fun it's gonna be every saturday it's called saturday legends right it's gonna be every saturday typically like maybe like i said eight legends the first week then after that two there's been years where we used to do three we used to do two two regular legends and then one ltd now this year they've been doing something called boss legends or last year so the way it worked is we would get two legends base overall so they'll be like There'll be a Jerome Bettis and a Rob Woodson dropping on Saturday, right? But they'd also come with two boss versions of them. So there'll be the 89 overalls across the board. You could power them up to a 90, or you could buy their boss version, which was a 90 overall LTD, which I found extremely stupid because their LTD would cost like 450. Oh, it should have cost like 450K, but then their base would cost like 250, 300. I'd rather just buy their base. I mean, and if I, I could power it up and keep it, and it's it's, it's the same thing. I guess the, the, the concept for the LTD was you could sell it for back for more or something, but I, it was really stupid. I think that was pointless. I think it should really stray away from Boss Legends. Um, you could even change the card art to the LTD one, so there was really no benefit to it at all. I think they should stray away from Boss Legends. I like the way it used to be two regular set Legends and an LTD. I think it was way more exciting. It just made it so there was no, there was no LTD excitement anymore because that was the excitement of Saturdays was the LTD choice. Now it's okay, whatever to you guys is. Not, and Or if it's going to be an LTD, it should be a bigger overall cap. It should be the Legends 88 overall and the LTD is a 90. Or the LTD is 91. Like, it should be a big gap difference to make you want to have the LTD version. That's my personal opinion. Now, in terms of everything else, guys, I'm going to go over and show you guys the new Legends and their stats and then kind of go over the breakdown of what I expect for this weekend. So guys, I wanted to throw it in here. There was some more Superstar MVP cards revealed last night. So there will be a few more things that I do want to go over here. So we do have Adam Thielen for all you Vikings fans out there. Now, you may think he's a little bit slow, which may be true, but he comes built in with Slotomatic and Second Win, which you guys know Slotomatic is one of the better abilities in the game, similar to Route Tech out of the slot. Is Adam Thielen is going to be super crazy on next gen. Not like crazy, crazy, but like think about it, right? Devontae Adams is an 84 speed, and people are saying that his route running is crazy, and you can really notice how usable he is even with an 84 speed. So imagine Adam Thielen. He gets Slotomatic. And he has 88 spec catch. Even if this route running is not that great, Slotomatic will make up for that, I'm hoping, unless next gen is super realistic with ratings. But it's not franchise mode. This is going to be, you know, competitive S gaming. So the stats won't matter as much. It's going to be more about the abilities you have and how you set your players up. So he should, he actually, he could be pretty good. And if you're a Vikings team, team even better. 
Next, we have Leonard Floyd for the Bears. 82 finesse move, 82 speed. Nothing too crazy there, but he does come stock with, I think that's, um, I forget which one that one is, but I know that one. Uh, Emmanuel Ogba. He gets, uh, I think, oh, crap, I never know the name of these. I don't know, I never know the pass rushing ones, but he gets 78 speed, 83 finesse move, low block shed, nothing too great there either. And then, of course, we have Ben Jones, pretty well-rounded lineman, nothing too crazy there. He does get, uh, maybe Ripper, I don't really know which one that one is. This is the Brian Bulaga, which I feel like we've seen these already, but low run blocking, decent pass blocking. And then here's the Marlon Humphrey, you guys can pause on that if you want. I went over his stats in the past, though, before. Gonna probably be the best cornerback in the game, or at least one of the best. He comes with Acrobat, I think deep, deep route, uh, deep route KO, comes with Acrobat, and I think he comes with short route KO, or something like that, so that, that, that's pretty good, I actually, I really like this one, I like this card, that's about it, let's get back to the video. The first legend is Bruce Matthews, now like I said, Bruce Matthews, this guy always finds a way into our legend packs, one of the first weeks of Madden, he's been a staple, like, they, they, they must have his rights, and he must be the cheapest one to drop week one, I don't know, but they always put him out, I guess uh, you, you always need a lineman though, right, typically it's always like a, the first week, you always get a Larry Allen, Bruce Matthews, or Jonathan Ogden, typically Bruce Matthews and Larry Allen are the earliest, followed by Steve Hutchinson, and then potentially a, um, um, Jonathan Ogden, but he's great, gonna be a great, great center, I've seen him at guard before, but he's gonna be a center this year, so, well, he may have a different one later in the year, and his smaller piece may have different positions too. But he's going to be solid. He's going to have 90 run blocking, 89 run block power, 88 run block finesse, then 90 pass block. So off of the rip, he's going to be a 90-90 run and pass blocker. Now, as far as power goes for and finesse for pass blocking, he's close, but not there yet. But if you power him up and chem him up, which is what I like, if you power him up with the right track cards, you could probably get his run block 90 across the board, followed by close to 90 across the board passing with 87 strength and awareness off the rib. Going to be a solid, you know, quarterback on the line. That's because that's what centers, right? Just the quarterback on the line. I feel like next gen, they definitely made it where centers are a little bit more important than they have been in years past. Kind of my assumption, because that's the way this new engine's supposed to play is more realistic. So in real life, centers are kind of like the quarterback, the calling stuff out there. Awareness does matter in real life. A dumb center is going to get the line all messed up. So I'm hoping the next gen engine does affect uh, centers, and in that sense, Bruce Matthews could be really, really good. That card art's super cool, by the way. I really do like that card art. I think it's one of the better legend card arts we've had in a while. Big fan. Definitely love they have something like this in the game. Um, it looks super cool. That's what legends should look like. Reminds me more of FIFA with that cool, like lightning looking S look. I know it's not really lightning, but that's what it kind of reminds me of like a blue sky, nice and dark with the gold edges. That's what a legend is. Legends are gold. I like that. Hall of Fame jackets, gold. Like that's what it should be. I look, it reminds me more of like a FIFA gold jacket s stuff, and I really do like that. Now, in terms of Bruce Matthews, will he be a banger pull? Um, probably not. He's not going to be cherry as expensive. He'll probably be one of the cheaper ones because he is a guy. He's, you know, he's, he's a lineman, although he's still going to be great. We definitely want those skill positions typically or those crazy defenders when we're talking about banger legends. So we got the Marcus Ware. I know Zerk is happy about this one. A cowboy legend right here. Also could work on a Broncos theme team for all you theme team guys. The Marks were typically a Madden beast. Now, remember, these guys can be powered up to 90 overall off the rip, so they're going to be top-tier overalls in the game, which should also help you with completing your camp chance because you're going to need uh, an above 87 overall team to finish up one of the collectibles for him. Now, 88 finesse move and 88 block, so that's exactly what you want to see with 86 speed, 87 excel. He's going to be the best pass rusher in Madden off the rip. He has similar... Uh, he has similar pass rushing and block shedding to Aaron Donald, but he comes with a plus like 11 speed and plus like 7 plus or something like that excel on him. So remember, this guy, if you get the right strategy cards in him and you power him all the way, he will be able to go ahead and actually get probably, he'll be able to get 89 block shit, 89 finesse move off the rip. So you want to get like a run, um, you want to get a strategy card that gives you one finesse move and one block shit together. If you cannot, of course, get one that gives you finesse move and get one that gives you block shit. And Demarcus Ware will be one of the best run stuffers, as well as one of the best finesse move guys in the game. He's going to be crazy. And of course, he can be powered up, put him on a Broncos or Cowboys team team. Going to be one of the best run and pass, uh, pass stoppers in the game, as well as, like I said, he's crazy fast. With the way, with how, how slow this game is and how things move slowly, a guy with like with an 87 speed powered up like the Marcus Ware coming off the edge. Once he gets loose, he's going to go crazy on the quarterback. I love to see it as well as guys. You could pop him into a zone. Now, can he play zone? No. But I know a lot of, there's like a lot of times where you're playing a guy who likes to do double drags or double, double uh, short crossers. And you really can't, you can only use her once. So you like to pop out your opposite outside linebacker and into like a, into like a hook or a hook or a flat or a purple. And you want to throw them into there. But the problem is you have like an end, like an Aaron Donald 75 speed. He's not doing anything. DeMarcus where you can pop him back into there. He'll have speed and he'll have some height to actually play it. So I do actually like that. But guys, it pretty much does wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. 
Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's legend reveal. Like I said, expect there should be about eight of them, more than likely. And then we'll figure out how the bosses and everything work at a later date. We should know that by maybe tomorrow or by Saturday, of course, at the at the latest. But yeah, enjoy. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to be shout out in the Poodle Squad, like the video. And of course, comment down below, Poodle Squad. I'm out. Peace.